Current Time released a terrifying and fascinating video about authoritarianism in Turkmenistan. I've never talked about Turkmenistan before, but here we are. So let's watch and then we'll discuss. <laughs> Gerçeklik ve mertlik mektebinin devam etmesi için sizin bu kitaplarınız gizli mezruhu çeşmedir. Sizin böyle atı vatanımız güllü yer. Yani içeri ve daşar fiyatatınızı biz acı ve yağmın baktı yer yaşları tiz yürekten kollayız. Türkmen baykarlarının size olan alt istedileri çeksizdir. Kahraman arkadağımız. Sizin canınız sağ ömrünüz uzak olmağın dileyiz. Para saatli başlarlığımızda bir karar devletimizin bahtiyarlık dövünün her günü yattan çıkmayacak tarihi vakalara. Arka dağa, şükrat olsun, şan olsun. Hep sağ olun, oturun. Okay, I have to admit. Every time they said glory and honor to the great patron, the first thing I thought of was Patreon. Because on Patreon, people who donate are called patrons. So I pictured they're singing like, how, how do they say it? That's... That's me praising all the patrons to the show. Seculartalk.com slash, uh, page. Oh, no. Patreon.com slash Secular Talk. There you go. Check it out. Hook a brother up with a few bucks a month. I love you. Uh, but that's what I was thinking every time they were screaming about, um, patron. Glory to the great patron. <laughs> so, um, what happened here was, in Turkmenistan, the president decided, okay, they use all the people of Turkmenistan used to get free gas, electricity, water, and salt. All free shit. Okay. Now, I don't know what exactly in their economy was supporting that. I think maybe oil and gas. Um, but now they decided, okay, we're taking away the free gas, the electricity, the water, and the salt. None of that's free anymore. So that's a decision that obviously is going to piss off people in Turkmenistan. They're going to be annoyed by that. But this is the government. And this is what happened when he decided to take it away. They all sing his praise and fucking clap and, and literally sing for him. And tell him, oh, you're so manly and you're so wonderful and your books make a man a man. And all that stuff. And, um, yeah, this is what a hardcore authoritarian government looks like. By the way, there were some funny comments that I saw on Twitter when people were like, this is exactly what Donald Trump wants. <laughs> I think he does kind of want people to just endlessly... Because remember when he had that meeting and he just went around the office and told everybody to say positive shit about him? I think Trump has that authoritarian streak in him. But it's incredibly sad what's happening here because it's like those people are captured by this guy. It's also funny, though. You can't lie. Come on. That's hilarious. I think it's funny. I know it's fucked up to think it's funny, but it's just funny to me because... The president thinks this makes him look like a badass. In reality, it makes him look like a petty, insecure little bitch. Because you just have a room full of people sucking you off, talking about how great you are, and nobody is that, like, nobody deserves that. <laughs> like, nobody. No, I don't give a fuck. Doesn't matter. Fucking, you know, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, the dude who fucking came up with the polio vaccine. Okay, maybe him. But he'd be the only one. Like, nobody really deserves that. Like, oh, you're so wonderful. Ashkavana Shafla. Ashkavana Shafla. Ashkavana Shafla. <laughs> it's just so sad. Everybody, see, that's so insular because everybody from the outside is looking at it and going, uh huh. Y'all fucked up. Y'all are fucked up, aren't you? Because they are. That is, that's fucked up. I mean, that's a fucked up culture. That's a fucked up system. Um, again, I'm not saying. 
Like, I'm not putting them down to bolster the U.S. Because we fucking... And I'm not comparing us exactly. But we have torture. We have NSA spying. We wage offensive wars. We do a whole bunch of fucked up stuff. So we all got problems. But that's a level of authoritarianism and and praising that just doesn't occur in nature anywhere unless those people f all feel like a gun is to their temple. And that's what it, that's, I'm sure, what it feels like. In North Korea, when Kim Jong-il died, people had to publicly mourn, like, Oh! Oh, he died! Oh! And if you didn't uh, cry hard enough and look sad enough, they take you and put you in a hard labor camp. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. And also, just think about the fact of what's happening at this government meeting. They're taking away free gas, electricity, water, and salt, and everybody's praising him for it. Huh! Here's what would happen if people all got free shit like that, and then you took it away. They'd be pissed at you. But again, they have to, because it's a, it's a dictatorship. That's the... And uh, let me give you some more history on it. I'm gonna butcher these names, but bear with me. Turkmenistan was ruled by President for Life, Sapur, Sapur Murat Niyazov. And then he died in 2006, and then after him, Gurbanguly Burdimu Hamedo was elected president in 2007. And according to Human Rights Watch, quote, Turkmenistan remains one of the world's most repressive countries. The country is virtually closed to independent scrutiny, media, and religious freedoms are subject to draconian restrictions. So, we somehow got a video from inside an uh, incredibly repressive system, the likes of which it's barely comparable to anywhere else. I guess maybe North Korea, you could say. Maybe a handful of other places, but holy shit, is it weird to see that.